So let me run through the difference between the trick retractors. So obviously you've got some that are blue and then you've got some that are gray. So the gray trick retractors are used with this particular scan box. And the reason why is because on them, when you open it, so that's a small size and that's a medium size. So there's just different sizes. So when you take out a chick retractor, do you see how it's got these metal bits? These are magnets. And these magnets are connected to these bits here. And they click in like that. It's a magnet, see, they click in. And that's why if you give them the, the gray chick retractors, this is when you give them the scan box as well. Mm -hmm. However, if you don't want to give them the, the scan box and just the chick retractors, you give them the blue. And the reason why is because the blue does not have, it doesn't have the magnets. So it's just the chick retractor. The problem with the blue, as well as the gray, but mainly the blue, is that we no longer make them we have discontinued them. So once you, once you finish them, we will not be able to provide you anymore with new ones. So you'll have to then maybe use up all your gray ones. And once you've used up, you've used up all the gray ones, you'll have this, which is the Scanbox Pro, the new, the new Scanbox, correct. So the way that these two look, they're very similar. So they're pretty much identical. The only difference is that these ones have the magnets, these ones don't, okay? So let's say you wanted to give these ones to the patient. You have to teach them how to put the trick retractor in the mouth, yeah? So the best way to explain is that this bar is like a smiley face, always at the bottom. So not like this, like this, okay? So get them to hold the trick retractor like this and then you can bend it inwards. And then once you bend it inwards, you can then go in the mouth in the mouth and just open it, okay? So this is um, a medium size. Why don't we get you to practice? Better? Uh, so, much. so much better. Okay, great, that's it. And now pull them out. Yep, perfect, easy, yep, that's it. So then when you've got them in the mouth, so just remember this is always at the bottom, you grab your phone, so you pop the the thing on and then let's do a demo scan so we
moves it up and down. You then turn it around and you're making sure that this little lens uh -huh. is sitting right in the center of the third camera, which is there, mm -hmm. that one there. So as you can see guys, that little, uh, like a little teardrop mm -hmm. is lined up with the third camera, which is that one there. Okay, so that's it, it's set up. And the good thing is that once you set this up, you don't actually have to do that again, unless you change your phone. So if the person bought a smaller phone or a larger phone, you then would have to preset it again just to make sure that the camera is lined up again properly. Another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes the cover on the phone can be a bit thick. So in this instance, you'd probably go, well, I need to probably redo this step. And then the last one, it came up that you don't have aligners because you meant to have aligners, you don't have aligners. So it picks up straight away if something's wrong and then you can just redo this step. So then if you go next, it will then ask you just to redo those two scans, but not the first one. Okay. So how did you find it? So the key with moving it across is when you're holding it, to kind of almost work against the scan box. So if you're moving the scan box to the right, you move your head to the left. So you go like this. If you're moving your head to the left, to the right, you, and you move your scan box to the left. So almost to the point where it feels a little bit uncomfortable, because that's really the only way that the system can see the back teeth and really stretch the mouth, yeah? So, so now that you've got the app and you've got the demo version, I would encourage for you to practice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, and the best way to choose the different sizes, obviously you've got the two, get the patient to try. In most instances, it will be the medium, but what you'll find that in your case, because you're so little, <laughs> you need the smaller size. But the good thing is that they're autoclavable. So if you've chosen the wrong size, you can just pop them in the autoclav and just get them processed and then you can use them for a different patient. Okay? 
And that's about it. And then once you're happy and you've done everything, all you do is just go submit. The, um, the scan gets submitted. It takes anywhere from six to 12 hours for the information to come through. And that's when the instruction will be given to the patient, either to stay, which is a no-go, or to go. It means that they can progress into the next aligner. So that's why you always get them to do that before they know what to do in a sense. So they don't change their line and do this. They need to do this first and then know whether they should stay or progress.